Hello everyone, I am Lakshmi Padach Patel, Key Account Manager of, from Quadra Knowledge Solution. It's my pleasure to welcome you all for today's discussion on elaborating technology strategies for the holistic trade surveillance and monitoring. By my side today, I have Vishal Jagasya from Senior Analyst from Quadra Knowledge Solution. Hello Vishal. Hello. So let's proceed for a small intro for today's topic. To the, uh, holistic trade surveillance and monitoring solution combined with communication surveillance to identify and prevent abusive trading practices in the stock market by monitoring market manipulation for illicit trading behavior to detect fraud. The solution surveils for all asset classes and geographies to identify threats from all trading transactions. This protects organization from reputational risk and losses from regulatory penalties and financial losses while ensuring compliance. So now I would like to move forward to some questions which we have prepared today. Could you please give us more insight on the technology stack powering holistic trade surveillance and monitoring solutions? Yes, uh, there are a bundle of technologies uh, which are powering the trade surveillance and monitoring solutions. Some of the widely used technologies are artificial intelligence, machine learning. We have uh, supervised and unsupervised uh, learning models. Supervised models are the trained models and unsupervised models have been kept to detect the new or emerging threats. Then we have uh, advanced analytics, which uh, takes care of uh, uh, communication surveillance as well as uh, it uh, looks into uh, detecting the trade patterns of the traders. We also have other AI enabled uh, technologies which is uh, natural language processing and natural language understanding. We also have RPA to automate manual tasks. Then uh, there are for t data ingestion we have a number of tools in the market but the most widely used is Apache Kafka. For uh, data integration, also we have uh, more than a dozen of uh, tools in the market, but the most widely used is Informatica. So these are the technologies which uh, all together are powering the trade surveillance and monitoring solutions. Wow, that's really great to know that AI is part of our daily life nowadays and how this is integrated and you detect, how we detect to be more uh, surveillance on our today's technology. That's really great. So I would like to know there are many factors that contribute to real-time detection of trading patterns and decisioning. Would you like to highlight a few with some examples? Yes, uh, there are uh, multiple factors which uh, help in uh, doing the in the real time decisioning and uh, uh, detecting the frauds. So, some of the factors I would like to mention here is uh, the solution integrates the historical transaction data which is again uh, a very key contributing factor while uh, the real-time decisioning has to be done. It also manages large data sets from multiple resources because as we know uh, trade surveillance uh, deals with big data and the analytics behind it. Also it stores essential data in the memory which means uh, there are key critical data sets which are stored in the RAM of the system on which the trade surveillance solution is installed. And also uh, another important thing is the solution surveys across all asset classes and geographies. Now here the reason is since the trading happens on the global level multiple exchanges are involved there are many asset classes which are dependent on each other. So these are the key factors uh, which are helping in making a real-time uh, detection and uh, decision making. Would you like to uh, hi highlight some examples more on this? Uh, yes, uh, there are, uh, I would like to highlight uh, some examples here. One is, uh, there was a news in which it was said that uh, the Japanese yen, if there is a drop in the Japanese yen, it would impact the Hong Kong and Singapore markets. So, imagine if there was an insider trading happening for this news, which means the news, if it got leaked, what would have happened? This would have given the opportunity to the FX trader to manipulate uh, while doing the currency trading. That is one. Another is we know that there are certain asset classes which 
uh, directly affect the other uh, asset classes. For example, equities are inversely proportional to commodities. So if we see the stock prices drop, you will see an immediate increase in the prices of gold. Yes. So that is, uh, I mean, a very significant observation that we always see whenever such kind of movements happen in the market. Yes, definitely. I agree with you on this topic. And I remember this news also about the Japanese currency. So it's very good to know, like, uh, not to uh, to detect like what is happening with fraud, or to having the right technology into trade surveillance. Yes. According to you, which technology will see rapid advancement in improving abuse detection, and why? Uh, yes, uh, this is a very good question. Uh, actually, going forward, uh, we will see uh, major technical uh, technological advancements in uh, behavioral analytics. This will be the technology where the vendors will focus on, they are already focusing on, but going forward, they'll focus on it more for more enhancements because behavioral analytics, it is used to capture the uh, pattern of traders. And this will actually help them in the real-time detection and uh, take a real-time decision. If we see, there are two types of uh, analytics here. One is the traditional analytics and one is the holistic behavioral analytics. So what happens is, traditional analytics, it detects the known types of abuse, whereas Holistic uh, behavioral analytics, what it does is it works along with traditional analytics and helps in detecting the new or the hidden threats. So going forward, since the number of threats are rising, new threats are emerging, holistic behavioral analytics will play a key role over here in detecting the pattern of traders. Also, what happens is holistic behavioral analytics, it creates the risk profiles of high risk individuals or entities and gives them a risk score. Now, who are these uh, high risk individuals? These are the ones who are managing the bank's trading desk or they are uh, from the brokers or dealers side or they are from the asset managers team. So these are the uh, high risk individuals on which the surveillance will be uh, tight going forward. Yeah, I agree on this one too. Like it's very, it's uh, very important to know the hidden thread in our industry where we work with. So let's proceed. Would you like to elaborate more on how communication surveillance helping in trade surveillance and monitoring solution? Yes, in yesteryears, what has happened is uh, the focus was more on uh, trade surveillance, but then they were still not able to uh, capture the new threats and also the number of threats were increasing. So uh, the focus shifted on communication surveillance also, and that's how it got incorporated into the holistic trade surveillance. Now, the analytics which actually help here is the sentiment analytics, which is used to detect the positive and negative sentiments in the text or which is in the form of a conversation which is uh, in uh, through emails through chats or the conversations happening on the social media platforms so there are actually if you see two types of sentiment an analysis one is the lexicon based which was followed from many years and the new analytics that has come is the advanced text uh, analytics so going forward what will happen is uh, advanced text analytics will be used uh, for uh, a better uh, capturing of the text there are advantages of advanced analytics over the lexicon based because what happens is the lexicon based analytics they focus on finding the words in the conversation and just labeling them as a positive or negative depending on uh, what type of word it is for example if it is said that the stock is good but can drop so good it will take it will label it as a positive word and drop will it will take it as a negative word so this was the concept applied to, uh, when the lexicon based analytics are being used going forward what has happened is uh, the advanced uh, sentiment analytics which i spoke about it will help in detecting the tone and sentiment of the conversation also 
which means you will also come to know what exactly it means is there any some hidden meaning that has been conveyed in the conversation so it will be able to capture that that's really nice today i learn about sentiment analytics it's like we know every day we do have sentiment but we have some technology which measures those things for us which help our vendors also but uh, having all the positive aspect which you have explained i would like to know what is the challenges faced by trade surveillance vendors yeah uh, the trade surveillance market is a highly regulated one and uh, there are uh, i mean and it is very dynamic in the sense that there are a lot of regulations that keep coming in the new regulations uh, depending upon the new threats found uh, processes whether uh, all the processes are being followed according to the regulatory guidelines so the the challenge over here is keeping up with the ever changing regulations so what happens is even the new regulations are getting implemented and even the existing ones are getting modified so keeping up with the ever changing regulations is one of the biggest challenge which the uh, vendors are facing the other thing is it can the uh, other challenges monitoring the conversations on the chat platforms what has happened is we see there are uh, more than a dozen uh, chat platforms in the form of whatsapp and wechat and it is very difficult to put a surveillance control on them because these are all encrypted messages so what happens is uh, there is as of now the remedy that has been suggested by the technology vendors to the organizations which the organizations are following is that they provide training to their employees stating they clearly instructing them to use the company provided uh, systems in the form of either uh, laptops tablets or even uh, uh, devices like mobile phones uh, so that these are already uh, when they are given to the employees it comes with the already installed uh, controls in place so as of now they have only this remedy to provide the training and ensure make the employees aware that what are the threats and how vulnerable it will be if they do not follow for them as well as for the organization that's uh, true uh, that's true vishal actually everyone is uh, get easy uh, what's a victim of crime uh, which happen on social network and everywhere so we have to be careful in organization like you mentioned many organization are saying to the employees not to do this and follow the process and to be like you just mentioned so we'd like to proceed with the last question uh, for the today's discussion going forward what changes or emerging trends you foresee in the near future and do you want to suggest a road map to deal with them uh yes uh, so uh since uh, communication surveillance has been the center of focus for at least uh, last 2 uh, or 3 years so what we'll see is the continuous improvement in the communication surveillance wherein uh, the sentiment analytics will be focused on to capture uh, all the conversations through any channel any medium that is one area that we will see next is there will be a continued focus on the behavioral analytics as i mentioned previously that uh, i mean it is uh, used to detect the behavior pattern of the traders so this will be the next focus and lastly i would say for last few years they have been the technology vendors have been trying to ensure that there are less false positives so going forward they would want to focus on getting out the quality of alerts from the solution with a high sustained of uh, accuracy with a high sustained level of accuracy so that the false positives are less what they get is the quality alerts which doesn't waste the time of the investigators and the analyst teams so these will be the main challenges going forward which uh, the vendors would uh, address in order to ensure that uh, uh, everything is in place and what they offer is a much better solution than what they are currently offering yes i can see that you focus on accuracy which will help in further investigation and how they are going to be more surveillance into those thing that's really nice so uh, thank you vishal my take away from this discussion is the back end trade surveillance monitoring solution the technology stack being used reason behind real time pattern detection and decision future technology advancement increased focus of technology vendors on communication surveillance and the future direction of this market hence we have come to an end our discussion for today i would like to say big thank you to vishal for sharing valuable insight with us on holistic trade surveillance and monitoring thank you stay tuned with us